Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Sorry, I just had to get my eraser and sharpener. So, today I'm going to be doing the head of a rainway. Because I was good at to do the body. I did another tutorial video on the body, but currently we are just going to be doing um, to make things a bit easier for you guys to see because I feel like it's going to be a bit harder for you guys to see um, the whole entire body so I'm just going to figure out how I'm going to do this so we're just going to do the head for now so if you search up Rainway WOF on Google that's what that has I'm looking at right now but just the head part of that so first we're going to start off with probably the little horn on the nose so we're just going to make it a little bit like 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 that. I was gonna be the horn with yeah, the top, okay. but like that nose. I'm gonna make that bump work kind of season. Like so. And can, I'm gonna just continue basically the beautiful little nose right here. Like that. So I'm gonna continue. I'm just gonna do a big, big slam. Steep little hill right about here. I think I did a bit of too much turn right there. Just kind of how it go. Just like a bit of a turn, like so. It may look a bit weird, but it's actually kind of, kind of looking downwards a bit. And it's like, have my thumbnail like that. So, I mean, it's probably sad. If I do put a thumbnail, I'll probably have seen Or you could just like fast forward. So end the video to see what the end product is if you were just wondering how my tutorials are supposed to look like. So yeah. So I'm just writing the mouth right now, the top part of the shell like mouth. So will you guys go with that out and check if it's like properly recording. So it's a good time. Does it save? Okay. Wait a minute. I'm gonna move this back. But it's like it has climb on the table. Okay. Right. Yep. Okay. So <laughs> we're gonna continue. Yeah. So let's try this out now. Do this, and then we're just going to now start the horn. A bit of a dent inside, like so. And then we're gonna do a bit of a. Hi, Anna. <laughs> and then we're gonna do. A, <laughs> a bit of a horn like structure. Like so. I'm sure you guys can see that, I think. Yep, okay, you can. Okay, so we do a bit of a horn structure because that's just how a horn's gonna look. So we're gonna carry that same exact thing just down there. You probably got yourself a horn. I'm going to do the same thing. Well, so since the ring have kind of like an eye shell, I'm going to also make another shell kind of on the side here. Like so, because we're not like coming kind of direct side view. Kind of like a three-fourth-ish view, so we want to make sure it's like that. And since, and then we see cover, like you just run over the side, and I see if it would, if it were to go through this head, it would end up probably around here. So we're probably going to just do a bit of a horn down here, like so. And if you want, you could actually hit the horn and come out the other end, but we're not gonna, I'm not gonna do that because I think it would just look a bit different if we just do it this way. And then we're probably gonna just do a bit of a, like that. And then we're just gonna do this because that's what our horn was. And it's great. So now we're basically that face down. And then we're gonna start to draw the, the chin ish area, like the bottom part of the mouth. So, right about here, we're just gonna do a little bit of the bottom yeah. jaw, yeah. like so. Okay. I'm just gonna do a bit of a round like yeah. this. Yeah. And yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. And if at any point this video stops and starts recording again, it's just because 
time with it on the phone, on my phone, which is kind of right now. And I'm very sorry for that. I just I don't know how to fix it. So if that does happen, I'm gonna let you guys know us because of that. It's like that. And then like that. That's kind of like a sharp little jaw right here. Oh my god, sorry. And then that's basically basically the main part of the head. And um, yeah, like do a bit of a link in here for what the video is about. So sorry if that kind of gets in the way. So the neck right now. It's gonna go kind of the whole head. Okay, so we're just gonna do this. Oh. That okay? I think it's coming along pretty nicely. So you guys copy that down. Go check out the video. It's recording. Oh, All right. Great. We are doing well. I'll be stopping to check if the video has ended multiple times. Video so. So now let's just try the bottom part of the neck. Do basically this, and then you want to do this is very important. You want to kind of go really like farther than you think is okay. Like, that's not far enough for me. Like a big, 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 big bit of here, and like it becomes curling down like that, like like that. I think I should have done a bit of that thing here. That. Great. This so we got the main part of a dragon. Now we're gonna do what makes a rain wing a rain wing. So let's start with just doing the details of the face. Actually, I'm gonna end the video now and then gonna redo it like right after because I think our time's up right now. So that's just basically the first part, and I'm gonna go into the details in like right now. Okay. Okay. So we're back now. So I'm gonna continue trying. Drawing the remix. So now we're gonna um, add the details. So first, let's just add the tongue, which we can start right here. Just pretty simple. Well, actually, before we do that, we're just going to add some teeth first. They don't have to be too detailed because um, you don't really look at teeth and see exactly every single teeth. So just like a couple teeth, and you don't want you don't want to add teeth to the top area. Uh, I mean, you want to add teeth to this top area for a really good reason because it's a kind of like shell covering around your mouth, so you don't really want to see no way to take them. So now let's continue with the face. So the shell, like there's a shell come on the face to make sure that the face doesn't get too like damaged, but there is parts of the face that don't have shells. So this part right here is going to be a shelled area, and the rest is going to be kind of not really shelled. So we're going to just quickly just quickly like, like like separate those, and while we're doing that, we're gonna add a pretty nice, cute little detail. It's kind of like the um, shell covering up the eye part right here. Kind of like a little bit of an eye. Don't worry, it's not this. This is it's not this big. It's just kind of a little thing here that we have. And we'll then just continue and connect to this to the middle of the horn like so and great now you have a beautiful little face here and we're going to add the eye real quickly you can just zoom in on my reference photo okay so it's basically just you know a normal little eye that we are having here and we're just going to add you know circle highlight circle and pretty simple, I'm just gonna color this in. Uh, you could use a black marker, I don't have a black marker on right now, so I'm gonna use a pencil. Like that. And you could also make it scarier by like adding another eye in here and not doing that, but I'm not gonna do that today because I just like this type of style. And then we're going to just add some of this, these marks, which are kind of like little ridges around the eye to make it look a bit more, you know, like it's like getting sucked in a bit. Like that. Then we're going to be adding the rest of it. We're going to have a little bit of a nostril right around here. A nostril and then very kind of like light tone um, ridges on here as well because that's also what we're having here. And some ridges on this side right there. So this is almost all dragons have. So you also add scales everywhere from little tiny like circle like things. That will take a lot of time and I feel like you can kind of already see as a scale of dragons. You really don't need that. Kind of not necessary. So now I'm gonna add a thing that like, if you don't have the one you're it is not a ring ring. So first before we add that thing, we're just going to be 
adding an ear because it's a drag without an ear. Well, I mean, may drag in my book series without ears, but you know, <laughs> we're just gonna add an ear for now. So, like that, it's kind of the ear, it's kind of the inside of the ear. This is a part of me need on a ring that, like, it's like, necessary, okay? It's the, like, you'll see, like, you know those animals, I don't know what they're called, but, like, I forgot what they're called. Like, they're about animals that have those really, really cool, like, things on their, like, these things, like, that they have on their, like, behind their ears, and they can, like, separate them and make themselves look way bigger than they already are. This doesn't really do anything with the dragon because they're already really big. It was pretty small compared to the rest of the body, but it's still a cool detail that only rain wings have. They have these things on their ears to make them look bigger, and we're actually going to have to cut this part out of it because we're going a bit through that. And make sure to connect the last one with the, with the horns because that's where it starts and it ends. That. Beautiful. And make sure it's really stick like that. And boom, that's like a really big main chunk that really causes it to be a rain wing. So now we're gonna just couldn't like make some of the belly. The scales on the underbelly, which is pretty simple. Just could just kind of split this to two like into like this section right here. So it'll go soon, right out of the page. Like so. You might even add the legs if you want to, but maybe. So now it's going to make a bit of those ridges again, because that's just how it is. Like, boom. Okay, like that. So as you can see, it's turning out pretty nicely. Um, Oh yeah, there's a bit of a little bit of a dark little dot here. I have a darker scale right here. You don't have to add this part, but I'm just kind of adding it for fun. Okay, so now we're also going to be adding some spikes as well, but right now we're just going to be adding some circles down because ring wings have really distinct, pretty patterns on them, so we have to make sure we reinforce that a bunch. So now we're going to be adding Scales or like the back area. So we're just gonna do this. It's like half a triangle, and then you start from the end of that triangle like this. So it's like make sure it's not too big, cause it's not supposed to be that big at all actually. So I just like kind of keep it pretty small. So it's like a half a triangle, and then you do it again as you go down, like this. Um, you should start the wings if you're doing the wings there. Okay, and then there is another detail that we could want to, so I'm just going to do it anyways. It might take a bit though. It's just like, this would be another like, really small section right next to the line right here. Like this. And I'm just going to make some more really tiny little dots, I mean little like lines, ridges again. All the way down to the bottom. Boom. This kind of gives it a bit more of a detail thing um, going on. A bit of theme. So you could. Okay, so there's this other thing that it might look really bad if I add it, but I'm gonna add it because I'm kind of in the mood right now. But before we do that, we're gonna add the legs because I think there's a lot of detail in the legs. We're just gonna add the front part of the leg, not the whole thing, just like the beginning. Okay, so that means we're gonna have to erase this stuff because I'm gonna play. We're just gonna do a little bit of a circle, not a bend, and then circle again. At the beginning of a beautiful and then that was just as it goes out the page or into my little heading here. So then we're gonna add like little like patches here. A lot of the ring wings do have these little things, like little scale armor things right on their arms. 
I'm not sure if you guys can see the end of the page, but just continue that, like that. Oh, it's turning out great. I'm gonna do this, this, and that, just to continue that. And then, that's pretty much it. And then, if you want, you can stop the video now and leave and do then continue or anything. But we're gonna add some, well first you have to add these ones as well, but we're also gonna add an, another little detail that I never actually put on my ring before, but I'm gonna try it out today because I just noticed it. It's like these stripes on the back of it. And it's like a little like wiggly lines and it goes back in. You guys don't have to do this because I have never done this before. If you look at all my other rainbow drawings, I don't usually do these because I have not noticed it. Before. I'm just gonna, just gonna draw all the stripes going in and out. Little wiggly worms going in, in all directions. Now we're straight to me this into recovering up to the leg. Like that. So guys, this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my drawing of a rain wing's head. Um if you like this video, please subscribe, hit that like button, and um I can make more of these videos. You guys can just comment down what types of dragons or things you want me to draw, and I will see if I can draw them for you guys. I really hope you like this video. Um Thank you and bye.